Hello and welcome to our first In Focus Studios TV webisode. I am Jeff Phillips and I have Hunter with Heights Building Services here today. Thank you for coming in, sitting in here today, Hunter. Sure. Thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah. And why don't you just explain briefly what it is that you do? Uh, Heights Building Services is a locally owned uh, commercial cleaner. Um, we're headquartered in Durham, and we uh, areas we focus on are Durham, Raleigh, Chapel Hill, Triangle areas. Well, great. Well, since you're an expert in cleaning, um, <laughs> could you give our, our viewers any type of cleaning tips that you could, you know? Be glad to. Uh, one of the most important things uh, in cleaning is to allow the chemical to have dwell time. What I mean by that is you spray it on the surface you want to clean, and then you leave it five or ten minutes. That way you kill all the germs. For instance, in your kitchen, if you're making a chicken dish and you have chicken on your countertop, after you prepare the chicken, you go to clean the countertop, you spray a rag or the, the, the countertop, and you wipe it right off. You don't kill any germs. You need to spray the chemical on there, let it sit five or ten minutes, then wipe it off, and you've killed all the germs. Huh. That's something that I don't think I practice. I no, mean, it's very important. Yeah. Can't dwell time. And then what about... Um, like the the rags I know you shouldn't clean correct well the worst thing in the world is to take the rag the same rag you clean the chicken countertop off with go right to the sink and wash your dishes because all you've done is transfer the germs from one surface to another you should use a separate rag at heights we use the multicolored microfiber system different rags for different jobs hmm. wow that's interesting I don't think I've ever uh, seen a cleaning company use that method. Well, you know, it, 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 you know, I can't say that we can eliminate cross-contamination, but we do our best to minimize because the same rag that cleans your bathroom doesn't clean your desks or your kitchen or wherever we're cleaning in your offices. Right. Wow. Fantastic. Now, if a, if a, um, a company was looking to hire a commercial cleaning service like yours, um, is there any particular questions or things they should look for? Well, what I always like to do when I when I'm invited, invited into a new, a new account is I like to measure the facility. I like to know exactly what the square footage is because it's your money. I want to make sure that I give you the most competitive price and it's always based on square footage. I've had instances where clients will say, oh, don't worry about measuring, it's 3,000 square feet. Well, when I measured, it was 2,500. Mm. So it would have been a 500 square feet more. So I like to make sure that I measure. Um, also, ask for references. That is the more, most important way that you can really get a sense of how a, a commercial cleaner does their job. Hmm. Wow, really good, good advice there. Thank you from that. Um, I guess the last thing I want to ask you is what about um, products? I mean, you hear products with chemicals, then some that are safe where you could pretty much swallow them. I mean, is there a difference? I mean, what do you recommend? Well, no, chemicals are all over the place. You have really great chemicals. You have really bad chemicals. Um, they're all over the board, but uh, what I would do is make sure you read the label. And when you read the label, um, make sure you dilute the chemical as per the label. Um, the more the episode where you see someone filling a mop bucket, glug, 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 that's bad. More chemical is not necessarily good. Actually, it's bad huh. because it leaves a residue on the floor or wherever you're cleaning. Make sure whatever chemical you're using to follow the, the, the instructions. Okay, fantastic. Well, I hope you enjoyed our first episode, or webisode, I should say, with uh, uh, Heights Building Services. I'm sure if you have any other questions re regarding cleaning, commercial cleaning in particular, um, I'm sure Hunter would be happy to, uh, to answer them for you. Remember to call the guy with a bow tie and let us bring your cleaning to new heights.